Yo, what's up guys? It's over the world for design and I'm here with Razon 11. Hey everyone, I'm Razon 11. I make rankings, theories, reviews and edits all for Ninjago. And I will be really happy if you click the first link in the description and subscribe to my channel. Today we are going to be stating how we would change every Ninjago season. Please keep in mind that these changes will be based on our own opinions. Let's get started. In total honesty and in my personal opinion, the pilots are at fault because the Skullkin do not take things seriously and there is too much focus on Kai. The main things I would change are making the Skullkin more fierce, giving them more backstory and distributing the focus a lot more from Kai to the whole ninja team. Season 1 was the very first season and as a starting it was pretty good but had problems. The other three generals are extremely underdeveloped. I'll give them all big roles by maybe making all three tribes against each other and all the generals trying to reunite them. This is one of the biggest missed opportunities in season 1 because the two potentials were super important and after the ninja unlocked them they either used it only once again or never which is really disappointing. The first half of the season felt a bit too childish so I won't have the ninja learn a new lesson at the end of every episode and there are some very childish lines I will remove. I'll maybe give the season 10 episodes only because it feels a bit slow at some points like episode 46. Season 2 was a big step down from season 1 mainly due to the mega weapon arc. Ultimately, I would get rid of the filler episodes and make the mega weapon have more impact on the plot, make the final battle arc take longer, and not have it be the final battle quote unquote noting there are so many seasons after it. Heck, season 3 renames it to the ultimate battle. Season 3 is a very nostalgic season for me because I got almost all of its sets back in the day. And I think it is a great season, though that does not mean I will not criticize it. The J. Cole Neil love triangle is one of the most controversial things in the whole series, so I would take that out and also just make the season flow better because it technically has three endings in The Art of the Silent Fist, Enter the Digiverse, and The Titanium Ninja. Season 4 is a really good season, but it had some few problems. I really don't know what they were thinking when they decided that the best environment to such a massive battle is a very tight corridor. Only the ninja were fighting, the people in the back were just watching. The animators got really lazy with this one. I'll also make it longer and divide it into two episodes. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like this season was a bit childish at some points, and this animation does not help as well. Well, this is a minor problem, but I feel if the season was more serious at times, it would have been way better. Season 5 is a really great season as well, but it had two problems. One of the best concepts in Ninjago is destiny, and we all love it how mysterious it is, with being this mysterious thing that isn't physical and nobody controls. But season 5 came and completely ruined this, which is a shame because the idea is awesome, and they ruined it in the worst way possible. Basically, it makes the characters feel like puppets, and everything they do isn't decided by them, but by a person in the Cloud Kingdom, which is a terrible idea, and one of the worst things that came and happened to the characters. Season 5's plot is super generic, and the season does does not feel unique or different, so I'll change the storyline and make it more original. I really liked season 6 for giving Jade the focus he deserved and also proving that he is more than a comic relief character. However, the fame arc at the beginning was not the best, so I would just take that out. Apart from that, I think it was a pretty solid season. Like the pilots, Dave the Departed isn't a season, but I have many changes to do. More on Pyther were redeemed villains, even though I don't think Pyther was, but people do, so yeah. They are also main villains with endings, unlike the others, so I won't resurrect them and ruin their endings. The feeling forgotten thing is super dumb. Yang created a whole new martial art that people are trying to learn to this day, and he thinks that he's forgotten? That's honestly the dumbest thing I've ever heard from Ninjago. A person like Yang can't think like that at all. And for Cole, he has friends, so it makes no sense that they forget him like that. Cole's are X powers are really cool, but needs an Explanation. Like season 7, the other part had really weak dialogue and it's because of this new writer so I'll try to fix that. I really don't like the opening scene, it's very serious and all but in the end it was just to buy some lanterns which is frustrating. The fuzz were very poorly done so I'll make them more action packed. The master of the house thing is very convenient so I'll remove it and Yang will be a human again. I also don't know why that didn't happen. Why should all the villains have a tragic ending? This could have been unique honestly. Season 7 dragged on way too much at some points. I would add more time travel since the only time quote unquote aspect of the whole season was the time blinks. I would also give the whole ninja team something to do during the finale and find ways to make the season more exciting because with the Vermilion and the time twins not being great antagonists, this is one of the most boring Ninjago seasons. Season 8 is absolutely my favorite season and it would have been truly perfect if it wasn't for this one small problem. The only thing I will change is that I'll give the other ninja other than Lloyd more focus in the second half. The story might be related to the Oni and Dragon realm, maybe Mr. E opened a portal to it and Zayn and Cole are trapped in there so we see them trying to survive for the rest of the season until Jay and Kai join them in the finale. Lloyd was perfect in the second half and more ninja focus would have made the whole season absolutely perfect. Season 9 was a great Ninjago season and it is one of the best post movie content. But if I could change anything, it would be to put less focus on Nia and Lloyd in Ninjago City. I personally think it is cool that we got to see them there, but the most exciting stuff happens in the first realm with Wu and the four original ninja. Also, I think it would have been cool to see Wu unlock his creation power to rival Garmadon. 
I still don't know why they stopped at episode 98 instead of 100, especially that adding two episodes to the season would have made it a lot better. I know that they said that they count the two pilot episodes, but that doesn't make any sense at all. They aren't a part of the official episodes count, and season 10 really needed more episodes, so I'll add two more. This is one of the most pointless things the show has ever made, so I'll remove it because it makes no sense and it was never mentioned again. And for a short season, every second matters, so I'll completely remove this. The biggest disappointment in season 10 is that the only are by far the weakest enemy the ninja has ever faced and Omega barely appeared, so I'll make them do more damage and be stronger. To be honest, Omega doesn't add anything to the story of the season and he's very useless so I'll completely remove him. Season 10 doesn't really need a main villain, especially that is very short. For me, Lois' focus in seasons 8 and 9 was perfect and I was completely okay with him being the focus for 2 seasons in a row. But starting from season 10 it started to get annoying. Color Kai should have been the main character for the season but instead Lois stole the spotlight so I'll give Kai an arc with him trying to trust himself and forge the weapons and Cole trying to escape from the Oni Cloud. The tornado of creation was very lazy writing, so to be honest I'll even make the season 8 or 10 episodes and I'll give it 2 parts finale with all the Rebels versus the Oni, that'll be very dramatic. Cole's fall is the saddest Ninjago season in my opinion, so I'll give it a better conclusion and make it Cole's arc in this season. For a lot of people, season 11 is the worst Ninjago season. For me personally, it is more enjoyable than season 7 and Day of the Departed, but even then, there is still a lot to change. First, no filler, it is a total waste of time for the audience. Next, I would take away the Lloyd focus and put it more on Zayn as the primary focus and Kai as the secondary. The ninja would be more in character, and finally, I would dedicate more time to the plot so the season does not feel rushed. One of season 12's biggest disappointments is that Jay is the main character only for the finale and the rest of the season he had the exact same role as the others, so I'll give him a story in the season. Seeing Red Vazers fight in every episode was painfully boring, so I'll remove that and I'll replace it with platforming of fighting levels like the ones we saw in episode 12. Scott has a way better design and voice actor than Okino, so instead of putting all the focus on Okino, give it to Scott because he's a lot more interesting, especially that he isn't an AI like Okino, but a real player and it was a huge disappointment that we barely saw anything from him. The only thing Thing Lord's battle with Hirobi liked is a conclusion to Lord's trust issues, so it concluded in here. Onagami has the best concepts and backstory out of any villain, so I'll give him a lot more screen time and focus. Showing us how Onagami created Prime Empire would have been really cool. It's logical how Dyer changed Onagami from bad to good in literally 3 or 4 minutes, so I'll make Jay and the others in building that throughout the season and Dyer finishing it in the ending. Season 12's finale was super rush, so I'll make it like season 13 is 2 parts. The most recent of the Ninjago seasons, season 13 was fantastic but its faults do not go unnoticed. The main things I would change are to get rid of the anime and dungeon party, have Vanya's coronation also be her birthday party noting that was the reason the ninja came to Shintaro, and maybe some foreshadowing for season 14 at the end, similar to how season 4 ended with the appearance of Moro. That's pretty much all we have to say. Thank you so much for watching everyone and an even bigger thanks to Razum for letting me participate with him in this project. Thank you so much for watching. Again, just a reminder, please go to my channel and subscribe, link is in the description. And also huge thanks to Overlord1469 for this great collab. And hopefully we'll do even more in the future. I will see you all in the next video. Peace!